So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we'll cover the best point and shoot cameras. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below, as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. The best camera is the one you have with you. And these days, that's usually our smartphones. But there's only so much you can capture with even the latest flagship smartphone. And in recent years, the point and shoot segment has taken off, holding a distinct space in the current market. And for a good reason. Manufacturers are now pushing the bounds to remain competitive in an ever-changing smartphone age. And these days, technology has improved significantly. So much so, we now have access to the best point-and-shoot cameras to date. Today, there's now plenty of options with powerful optical zooms, image stabilization, large sensors, and comfortable controls. Not to mention, these cameras have a full suite of advanced pro-level features, typically reserved for pricier DSLRs. Point and shoots as a class of camera offer quite an interesting middle ground. They have all the power of an entry-level DSLR with similar image quality, customization, and convenience, but they're substantially smaller, less bulky, without a steep learning curve, making them a better alternative for novice photographers or hobbyists. And even the entry-level options continue to outclass even the best mobile devices. Now, whether you're looking for your first dedicated camera to develop your photography skills or a middle ground between a DSLR, point and shoots are a solid option. And in this post, we've compiled a list of the top 10 best point and shoot cameras. We've also created a detailed guide on what to consider when shopping around for a point and shoot camera, which you can find in the description down below or scroll down if you're on our website. But with that, let's get into the top 10. Coming in at number 10, Nikon's P1000. Nikon's P1000 is the company's latest mega zoom camera. Released in the fall of 2018, it features a 1 over 2.3 inch 16 megapixel sensor, a 24 to 3000 millimeter lens, 4K video up to 30 frames per second, and 1080p video up to 60 frames per second. It also has a 3.2 inch articulating screen, an EVF, optical stabilization, a built-in flash, time-lapse, a microphone input, HDR, and wireless connectivity. The P1000 uses Nikon's standard contrast detect AF system with face priority and subject tracking, which works well given enough light, but it offers enormous upgrades in several key areas over the earlier P900. Namely, it now provides five stops of stabilization and full raw shooting, but easily its standout feature is the updated two times dynamic fine zoom, which doubles the camera's range to 6,000 millimeters with minimal loss in quality. And you can even push things further to 12,000 millimeters with the optional digital zoom, easily capturing subjects as far as the moon. Overall, Nikon's P1000 remains the current leader in the mega zoom category. While it may be one of the larger and heavier bridge cameras around, it offers standout zooming capabilities and superior handling, and it'll guarantee you get the shot no matter the distance. Coming in at number 9, Ricoh's GR3. Ricoh's GR3 is the latest iteration of the long-standing GR lineup. Released in the spring of 2019, it features an APS-C size 24 megapixel sensor, a 28 millimeter lens, and 1080p 60 frames per second video. It also has a three inch touchscreen, a built-in ND filter, stabilization, two gigabytes of internal storage, multi-exposures, interval composite, HDR, time-lapse, and wireless connectivity. The GR3 uses their brand new hybrid AF system, now with face detection, but Ricoh's also updated the sensor, which is 1.5 times larger than before, and this change significantly increases the camera's image quality and low light performance. Yet the camera now even has stabilization, debuts a touchscreen for easier operation, and its fast 28mm lens offers an interesting perspective. But if that's too wide, you can use either the 35 or 50 millimeter crop modes to narrow the field of view. Overall, Ricoh's GR3 is quite a powerhouse release, yet it remains palm size and easy to store in a jacket pocket. Sure, it's more minimal than other compacts, but it's discreet and offers a masterful balance between function and size. Coming in at number 8, Canon's PowerShot G5X Mark II. Canon's G5X II is the company's latest mid-range compact. 
released in the fall of 2019. It features a 1 inch 20 megapixel sensor, a 24 to 120 millimeter lens, 4K 30 frames per second video, and 1080p 120 frames per second video. It also has a 3 inch flipping touchscreen, an EVF, stabilization, a built in flash, time lapse, panorama, HDR, a built in ND filter, and wireless connectivity. The G5X uses Canon's 31-point contrast AF system with face detection. And unlike many rivals in this class, it offers a 180-degree flipping touchscreen, making it a great option for selfies or vlogging. Advanced shooters will also be pleased knowing the camera has full raw support, yet surprisingly does so boasting 20 frames per second continuous shooting or 30 using the raw burst mode. And not only is it a strong option for capturing action, but its large sensor, fast f2.8 lens, and versatile zoom make it well suited for virtually any application. Overall, the G5X2 takes many high-end features from the premium compacts of the field, and it combines a longer-than-average zoom with a supremely fast lens, making it quite a strong all-rounder given its price. Coming in at number 7, Canon's PowerShot SX740HS. Canon's PowerShot SX740 is their latest mega-zoom compact camera. Released in the fall of 2018, it features a 1 over 2.3 inch, 20.3 megapixel sensor, a 24 to 960 millimeter lens, 4K 30 frames per second video, and 1080p 60 frames per second video. It also has a 3 inch flipping screen, optical stabilization, a built in flash, time lapse, and wireless connectivity. The SX740 uses Canon's TTL autofocusing system with face detection, but the latest processor now brings along 4K video and the 4K frame grab option, which allows you to extract images from videos. But notably, its highlight feature is its enormous 40 times optical zoom, allowing you to get incredibly close to the action. Yet it even boasts an 80 times zoom plus mode to get you twice as close, plus the zoom framing assist to make it easy to relocate subjects when fully extended. The only drawback is that the camera shoots JPEG strictly and doesn't offer raw shooting for added flexibility, but it does make it easier for those wanting a simple point and shoot experience without the fuss. Overall, Canon's SX740 is an excellent option for capturing sports and far off subjects, particularly given its ambitious zoom and pocket friendly form factor. And it's a strong choice for budget conscious shooters not needing raw flexibility who want a versatile travel ready camera. Coming in at number 6, Panasonic's SZ200. Panasonic's SZ200 is their direct response to Sony's popular RX100 series. Released in the spring of 2018, it features a 1 inch 20.1 megapixel sensor, a 24 to 360 millimeter lens, 4K 30 frames per second video, and 1080p 120 frames per second video. It also has a 3 inch touchscreen, an EVF, a built in flash, 4K video, focus bracketing, HDR, and wireless connectivity. The SC200 uses Panasonic's 49 point autofocusing system, which includes both face and eye detection. And compared to earlier models, Panasonic's managed to squeeze in a much larger 1 inch sensor, and this change substantially improves the camera's low light performance. They've also redesigned the lens, which now offers a 15 times optical zoom or the 30 times intelligent zoom, class leading features at this price point. Overall, the SZ200 is a strong all-in-one option that offers plenty of manual control and outstanding versatility. And as a challenger to the RX100 lineup, it's quite a compelling alternative without its demanding price. Coming in at number 5, Canon's PowerShot G7X Mark III. Canon's G7X III charges forward with new video-centric features aimed at content creators. Released in 2019, it features a 1 inch 20.1 megapixel sensor, a 24 to 100 millimeter lens, 4K 30 frames per second video, and 1080p 120 frames per second video. It also has a 3 inch tilting touchscreen, stabilization, a microphone input, a built in flash, a built in ND filter, and wireless connectivity. The G7X uses a similar TTL autofocusing system with face detection as the G5X, and it also obtains the 30 frames per second raw burst mode or 20 frames per second in regular shooting, which nearly doubles its particular predecessor. 
However, Canon's added some video-centric features with this particular model. In this case, it now provides vertical video support for proper playback on smartphones or social media. Additionally, it's live stream capable and can directly stream to YouTube, a first in the PowerShot line. Overall, Canon's G7X3 makes a strong video first option and it offers several bonuses that make it a great choice for vloggers and content creators looking for a pocketable option without opting for the pricier G5X. Coming in at number 4, Panasonic's SZ80. Panasonic's SZ80 continues their popular TZ lineup of super zoom compact cameras. Released in the spring of 2019, it features a 1 over 2.3 inch 20 megapixel sensor, a 24 to 720 millimeter lens, 4K 30 frames per second video, and 1080p 60 frames per second video. It also has a 3 inch flipping touchscreen, a built in flash, an EVF, hybrid stabilization, HDR, post focus, focus stacking, time lapse, stop motion, panorama, and wireless connectivity. The SC80 uses Panasonic's Contrast Detect AF system with DFD technology and face detection. It also receives the new sequence composition feature, which allows you to combine a series of images in camera, but it obtains Panasonic's popular 4K photo mode, which lets you pull photos from a 30 frames per second, 15 minute long video clip. Plus it has the intelligent zoom function, doubling its 30 times optical zoom to 60 times, extending the lens to 1050 millimeters in the 4K photo mode. Overall, the SC80 is an excellent compact with a longer than average zoom range. And while it's only an incremental update over the earlier SZ70, it continues with the superior build quality and feature set known in this lineup. And it remains a strong option for capturing sports in action. Coming in at number three, Fujifilm's X100V. Fujifilm's X100V is their latest premium street camera. Released in the spring of 2020, it features an APS-C size, 26 megapixel sensor, a fixed 23 millimeter lens, 4K 30 frames per second video, and 1080p 120 frames per second video. It also has a three inch tilting touchscreen, weather sealing, an EVF, a built-in ND filter, panorama, HDR, multiple exposures, time-lapse, and wireless connectivity. With this latest installment now comes an overhauled sensor and autofocusing system, and the new X100V uses Fuji's high-end 425 point AF system from the acclaimed X-T3. Fuji's also updated the lens, which now provides substantially better image quality and macro performance. Yet the camera also offers 11 frames per second burst natively, or steps up to 30 frames all the while capturing nostalgic images using 17 classic film simulations. Overall, the X100V is quite an extensively polished release on Fuji's end, and it's the ideal option for street photographers, but one that delivers a timeless design coupled with superior refinements that continues the line's success. Coming in at number two, Olympus's Tough TG6. Olympus's Tough TG6 continues dominating the adventure photography segment. Released in the summer of 2019, it features a 1 over 2.3 inch 12 megapixel sensor, a 25 to 100 millimeter lens, 4K 30 frames per second video, and 1080p 120 frames per second video. It also has a 3 inch LCD, stabilization, live composite, HDR, focus stacking, time lapse, panorama, a 2 times digital teleconverter, and wireless connectivity. The TG6 uses a 25 point contrast based AF system with face detection. And while it only offers a four times optical zoom lens, the lens does have a fast F2 aperture, which is quite bright for this segment, but it's a feature that greatly improves the camera's low light performance. The lens also offers superior macro abilities, focusing in as little as one centimeter, though the TG6 shines as the toughest camera around. Not only is it crush proof to 100 kilograms, but it's also shock resistant, dust proof, freeze proof, and waterproof. In short, it's close to indestructible. Not to mention it also offers full raw shooting, 4K video, and 20 frames per second burst shooting, rarities for underwater cameras. Overall, the TG6 is ideal for adventure photographers, requiring class leading toughness. While it lacks a long zoom or larger sensor, it remains the top option in this segment otherwise, and it's a must given its quality, durability, and strength. Coming in at number one, Sony's RX107. Sony's RX107 is their latest premium compact camera and the flagship of the RX100 lineup. 
Released in the fall of 2019, it features a 1 inch 20 megapixel sensor, a 24 to 100 millimeter lens, 4K 30 frames per second video, and 1080p 120 frames per second video. It also has a 3 inch flipping touchscreen, stabilization, and EVF, vertical video, time lapse, panorama, HDR, a microphone input, a built in flash, and wireless connectivity. The ARX 107 uses Sony's 425 point fast hybrid AF system, which delivers the fastest focusing of all compacts at just 0.02 seconds, but it also obtains real-time AF, which provides advanced eye detection and tracking for humans and animals. Sony's also added their latest sensor, which calculates focus 60 times per second, allowing the camera to deliver 20 frames per second bursts with autofocus, and you can even push things up to 90 frames per second using the single burst mode. Previously, getting this kind of speed required spending three times the price on their flagship A9 sports camera, but not anymore. Overall, Sony's RX107 is the top point and shoot camera. Not only does it offer remarkable telephoto capabilities, but it also receives several class leading pro features from their flagship camera, yet it remains small enough to fit into a jacket pocket. Sure, it's not cheap, but this is your camera if you want the best. So there you have it, my friends. There's our list of the top 10 best point and shoot cameras. For more information on this list, look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and that will take you right to the full post. And you can also visit that link to read the full guide as well. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>